Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about genetics. Genetics is a study of heredity. Heredity means what is heredity? Heredity is a biological process whereby parents pass their certain gene and to their children or offspring which is also called heredity. The study of heredity and variation of inherited characteristics which is also called as genetics. And so I am repeating the study of heredity and the variation of inherited character which is also called as genetics. The genetic properties or features of organisms are characteristics. Uh, the term the genetics first time it was discovered by W. Batson. Then the father of genetics Greco Jogan Mendel. Then the genetics the word it's, it's originally derived from gen okay geneticos its meaning is it is generative and genesis meaning its beginning. The genetics came from the word gen geneticos the meaning is generative uh, genesis the meaning is beginning so genetics already said it two words involved one is heredity and variations transmission of characters or traits from parent to offspring which is also called heredity and similarity and difference which is passed on from parent to offspring which is called as variation so it is heredity and variation combined together from parent to offspring will it transfer which is also called genetics Genetics, the word derived from gen or geneticos, which is also called beginning. Now, what are the scope of genetics? There are, there are three major fields of genetics. One is transmission genetics. Second, molecular and biochemical genetics. Third, uh, population and biomedical genetics. We are going to discuss uh, detailedly what is transmission genetics, molecular and biochemical genetics. Uh, population and biometrical genetics. The transmission genetics which is also called as classical genetics. So it is basic principle of genetics and the transmission of genetic material from parent to offspring or one generation to another generation. Mainly the transmission genetic is focused on individual organisms. It can emphasize relationship between this chromosome and heredity and also uh, arrangement of gene on the chromosome gene mapping which is discussed about it. transmission genetics it is uh, the character or genetic material transfer from one generation to another generation focusing of individual organisms and it is mainly emphasis on relationship between this chromosome and heredity arrangement of gene and gene mapping Next, the second uh, scope of genetic is molecular and biochemical genetics. So it is talk about study of the chemical natures, the structure and function of gene. So we are going to study the chemical nature, either organic and inorganic, um, macro and micro molecule, which is present in the human body, uh, plant body, their, their structure, their function, we are going to discuss about. So this it is mainly uh, emphasized on information of encoder, replications and process and cellular uh, replications, transcriptions and transformations and also it is also discussed about gene regulation, the process of control and uh, control the expression of genetic information. And the third one is population and biometrical genetics. So this genetics is talk about study of the behavior an effect of gene in a population often it is also using a mathematical model or statistical model it's mainly focusing on group of gene found in a population so the traditional or it is which is a classical genetics uh, that is mainly focused on individual population genetics it's it is mainly focusing on the gene which is found in the populations so it is mainly emphasis on how the genetic composition of a group of changes over time. It is also discussed about quantitative genetics, ecological genetics, which is also talk about it in that population and biomedical genetics. And also uh, cytogenetics. So this science that deals with physical basis of cell. And one more genetic, which is also called molecular genetics, so molecular genetics, it's a chemical basis of hereditary. 
and newest and modest advanced field of genetics which is molecular genetics and classical genetics which is we discuss about genetics okay it is traditional and classical genetics or uh, transformation genetics study of analyze of offspring to mating the offspring one and population genetics it's a deal with the transmission of trait with the larger group of the individual through passage of time behavior genetics which is talk about study of behavior and organism so this area classical genetics population genetics molecular genetics and this biochemical genetics we have a scope to proceed further later genetics then how the genetics applicable to this human kingdom and plan b so it is very much applicable for agriculture first of all so it is for that you have to select selective breeding selective breeding it is cross breeding of two parents each with them good traits to produce offspring with good traits of both parents right and it is uh, also it is in the agriculture it is produce gmo crop genetically modified crops gmo tomato broccoli okay and cabbage okay and this uh, uh, onion carrot like its component genetically modified uh, plants we can produce through this method next it is the benefits of this selective breeding you need to produce better resistant to pest and disease to improve the nutritional value fruits with longer shelf life for example tomato easily spoil when we modified this cross breeding or genome so the fruits with longer life bigger animal more meat more milk productions and increase the food productions which has happened here so disadvantage removal of some gene from the gene pool so the second is it we can produce through this uh, uh, transgenic organisms transgenic plant resistant to pest resistant to drought and stress tolerance we can produce a transgenic animal chicken with high uh, hch to make them grow large and very fast and transgenic bacteria for mass production of insulin has gh and plant clotting factors okay human growth hormone hch means human growth hormone to make them grow large in a very short period of time so next it is the genetic which which can applicable in the medicine it is applicable in this agricultures in this transgenic gene and animals and also it is apply in medicines to accurate diagnosis of disease preventing use of medicine to our disease prevention inherited drug sensitivities chromosomal abnormalities production of vaccine antibiotics vitamin insulin and this genetics also involved in the gene therapy and you can prepare personalized medicine which also possible through the genetics the next two applications it is also applicable in the genetic fingerprinting crime forensic science and parents age so okay so this can discover in the legal area genetics applicable art agricultures it is used in this uh, food productions medicines and legal also genetic fingerprinting and parent stage so next the genetic which can applicable in the industrial area provide synthetically produce raw material for uh, industry especially brewing industry baking industry which can possible we can genetics so industry we can produce that's pharmaceutical industry they can develop strains of molds and bacteria and other margin microorganism in high antibiotic yield for example penicillin cyclosporin from fungi streptomycin ampicillin from bacteria we can uh, derive from that we can use for human uh, usage so it is it is also it is applied in the human so possibility of making children with only the desirable traits baby have a deficiency could be treated with addition being done to their genetic structures those who cannot reproduce due to medical complication have also seen positive result with surrogate parents concept of being available increasing life span through vaccination and medications and vitamins 
so through it is the genetic which can helpful in the environment to remove the pollutions especially oil spills polluted water sewage uh, remediation bio remediation which can apply in the genetic concept so it can so environment we can production of valuable wild populations of genetic monitoring we can use the genetic marker which is probably solving the problem causing reduction of populations so so these are the genetics uh, scope and application we have seen it thank you thank you so much watching this video